Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to This About Action Figures Hunt Video, episode number 56. This week we found brand new action figures on the pegs. But before we get to that, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button that you see right there. It doesn't cost you anything, as I always say, and it does a whole lot to help us grow this channel and make it bigger. So this week on episode 56, we found brand new Walmart G.I. Joe exclusive Fang on the shelf. We found new Marvel Legends Shang-Chi MCU figures at Target. We found new Star Wars Mandalorian retro vintage figures, including the final Cara Dune figure that will probably ever be made by Hasbro and lots more. So again, please hit that sub button right there. Also, if you don't mind, hit the bell for notifications so that you know when we post new hunt videos and new content here on our channel. And also, hit that like button. And also, please comment as much as you would like on all my videos. Let's enjoy the hunt, everybody. I am at Airport Road, and they have the Beavis and Butthead reaction figures. So I purchased these at FYE for a crazy amount of money. Uh, just the two uh, regular figures. Uh, but I did think that I eventually wanted to pick up the rest. And uh, especially Cornholio. <laughs> so I might pick this up, depending on what the cost is. I think they're 12. I'm not positive. I know it's not the right tag. Uh, but it's definitely cool to see these uh, at actual retail because I didn't know they were going to get here. I really didn't even think about the fact they might eventually land in Target. So I really don't feel the need to have the uh, one where they are uh, working at the at Burger World. But I may have to pick up the Cornholio. I have to think about this. I'm going to go scan it and see what it comes up as. So let me know in the comments. Are you a <laughs> Hughes and Butted fan? <laughs> you said butt. All right, let's scan this. So there's that. If it's $11.99, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, if it's more than that, I don't need another Beavis and Butted figure. Oh God, not paying that much. So I guess I don't feel as bad now about what I paid at FYE, which was about that price. So if you're looking for these, they're out there. I'll just stick with the uh, with those two guys. So <laughs> too much money. <laughs> so Walmart home base. Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Look at this, we have Shang-Chi stuff for the first time. So. Uh, again, this isn't, you know, uh, Legends or anything. This is a basic, you know, toy toy. But uh, the fact to see something new is pretty cool. Uh, especially from the new film. So, it's the first uh, branded merchandise that I've seen that had to do with this movie. So, there it is. Shang-Chi vs. Death Dealer. Um, I know they announced the Marvel Legends way for this. So, it's hitting. It's actually starting. So, Shang-Chi, if you're interested, check it out. Because their products are starting to hit. So we are at the Crocs Road Target, and this is pretty cool to see. I would not have expected to be one of those people that actually saw this on the pegs early. I'm pretty sure it is street dated, but there it is. There's the back, there's our Mr. Hyde. So it looks like we do have three of these. So three of these are on the peg. I'll try to scan one and see if it comes up street dated or not. I was actually hoping to get a MODOK. I have those pre-ordered. Uh, and I saw they had five here, so I actually may ask about that. But uh, there's her Shang-Chi, more specifically, uh, our Win Wu. I apologize if I just butchered that. I don't really know much about the movie or, or very much about uh, the actual uh, comic, but this is my first time seeing this in hand, so that's very awesome. So I'm gonna go look around and see what else I can find, maybe ask about the MODOK. And uh, yeah, they are hitting targets. If I found them, other people will too. All right, let's see what else there is. Okay, and let's confirm. So there is that, if you wanted to see that up close and personal. And let's see if it happens when we scan it. And it comes up, uh, availability unknown. So there's what comes up. There's your DPCI number right there. So I'll probably try to buy one of these. I said I wasn't gonna do this series, but I'm just kind of curious what happens if I try to purchase it, if they'll register lock me or not, so. Let's go give it a shot. It can't hurt, right? Let's call it a little social experimentation. There it is again. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be street dated, but let's give it a shot. Why not? Yep, there it is. So I'm not gonna really get that. Okay, so obviously it was street dated, but I actually had a really nice manager come over, start with the wind, and she said, I'm sorry, I can hold it for you till the 25th. So I wasn't gonna get it, but she offered, so I guess I'm getting that. So, Bailey, oh, it's windy. Bailey, this is a giveaway. So, all right, guys, that's it. So, Walmart, home base, we have a score. 
This is awesome. Geojo Cobra Fang in hand. There's only three of them here, so I don't know if anybody earlier had picked any up or not. But I freaking love these, man. The box artwork is just insane. I do have the Hiss and the Oz Striker as well. But this will be awesome on the shelf at home with my G.I. Joes. I'm using them as a backdrop right now with my classifieds. Yeah, I know this is a different scale, but the box art just looks amazing with the other uh, G.I. Joe classified stuff. So there are three here again. Yeah, I'm pumped. All right, see what else is here in the aisle on the lunch hunt. So same day, same lunch hunt. I turned around and holy cow, they have the Mandalorian vintage three and three quarter inch. There is Cara Dune. And there she is, probably the last ever Star Wars figure that'll be made using her likeness. And by her likeness, I mean not really her likeness. These are meant to look like the original figures, but I believe they're only 10 bucks. So that's a really good deal. Uh, and again, with what's going on with Cara Dune, uh, we don't know if she's gonna be recast or whatever, uh, but uh, I will definitely be taking that as a collector's item um, to go on my limited Star Wars shelf. Otherwise, we do have the Moff Gideon. And we do have the IG-11. And it looks like we have Grief Karga. And another Grief Karga in the back. And up here we have Return of the Jedi stuff going on. So we have here Admiral Akbar, And we have the Han Solo in the jacket. I'm trying to be careful of the cards because I know somebody will probably tell me I'm being too rough with them. Uh, Luke Skywalker Hoth. Another Luke Skywalker Hoth, another Admiral Akbar. In the back looks like we have a Imperial Guard. In the very back, we have another one. So that's a really good lunch score right there. Um, I will totally take that as a, as a lunch hunt today. And I wonder if, because those are out, if there's any chance classified are coming. So that means I might be on a bit of a, a hunt after work today to see if I can track down uh, anything else that goes with these. So boom, there we go. And this is the lunch hunt that keeps on giving. Now, I'm not collecting these, but this is the first time I've seen these on pegs here at Walmart. So it's just a three and three quarter uh, bonanza today. Uh, so we have Captain America. These are all it's the same ones they have at Target. Magneto, Spider-Man, another Spider-Man, Carol Danvers, Hulk, and another Hulk. So uh, they are definitely starting their whether you want to call it a reset or a restock of, of new and uh, older things here at Walmart. So these were just punched as well. That's pretty cool. But uh, putting these back on the pegs, I uh, love the card art, but I'm not getting in on this line. But definitely check your Walmarts, everybody, because this is apparently a big week to get new items out there. Next door, Legends are all just all the same things. Lots of Peter B. Peg warmings and also a lot of Wolverines. There's a Moira, which is pretty cool to see. But I did turn around also. I'll keep this rolling. And they also do have out the new Space Jam stuff. So Space Jam is here. Uh, I won't be buying these. There's LeBron. Uh, and they have My Hero Academia stuff here too. So crazy hunt today on lunch. They are definitely putting new product out on the pegs. Uh, so check your Walmarts, guys. I got to get out of here and get back to work. But I'll be checking uh, after work too, see if there's new Joes out here that are classified related. Oh, and one more thing. I just can't get out of the store. We have clearance on Legends. So it looks like Avengers Legends video game clearance. Uh, so it wouldn't be the Spider-Mans. So I don't even know if there's any video game figures left here. I'd be curious to see if any of these do come up clearanced. I doubt it. But apparently something was clearanced here for Legends as well. So I know I kind of just showed you the Legends, but I did miss the tags that things were clearanced here. So there it is, everybody. Check those Walmarts. I'm getting out of here with my finds. And if you want to see the price on this, it is going to come up as... Survey says, very slow computers here, very slow. 984 on that, and on your fang, if you're looking, there it is. Your fang's gonna roll up as 25. So, good scores today. So quick update here at the uh, home base Walmart. Uh, they, just since last night, have started to do a reset. So all the My Hero Academias got moved. They're now on this side. Uh, all the He-Man used to be right here, all the Masters of the Universe stuff, and there's the Space Jam. So all of this, uh, the Ghostbusters, is always in that location. Marvel Legends is still the same spot for now, but you can see they flipped everything around. They moved the Beyblades and everything up this direction. The Mo2 is now on the right-hand side. Um, looks like a lot of these pegs are Pokemon-associated, but 
uh, they are moving a lot of things around. So they are beginning the uh, the reset here at Walmart. Um, also, here's some Transformers. So Beast Wars uh, and the Reds are here. But uh, not really a lot to show you that's new on the pegs that wasn't here in the previous cuts from this place. However, just wanted to show you that the reset has started. And your Walmarts will probably also be moving things around uh, in the near future. And of course, update, no G.I. Joes. They're all gone. So... Let's go see if there's anything in NECA. If you don't see it, it means there wasn't anything there. All right, so this is uh, right after the last clip. Uh, nothing in NECA, however, uh, fig pins. I don't collect these. Let me know in the comments, do you collect fig pins? I am not getting into it, uh, but I can see why people like them. But the reason I'm videoing is they, I think these are new, uh, Ninja Turtles. So uh, Leonardo, there's Donatello. There's another Donatello, another Leonardo, and there's Rogue, which has been here before. And also these uh, Mickey Mouse ones are pretty cool from Fantasia. Uh, but yeah, again, just thought I'd show these off. I think these are new. So if you're a collector of fig pins, uh, they do uh, have the turtles here now as well. So your Walmart mate as well. So, all right, guys, that's it for this clip. On to the next location.